there. And volunteers for the House of Friendship, they are also busy collecting, sorting and delivering Christmas hampers. This is a big job in part because so many people continue to need help, especially at this time of year. CTV's Nadia Matos was at the busy warehouse today where this was all taking place. Nadia? A very busy warehouse indeed, Kyle, where hundreds of volunteers have answered the call in whichever way they can. Sorting through the piles, students at Rockway Mennonite Collegiate have gathered about 20,000 food items. And all of it ends up here, in a warehouse in North Waterloo. House of Friendship volunteers are faced with a hefty task of packing thousands of Christmas hampers. Yes. There is, after all, a lot of work to be done. 10,000 people will benefit from the food being packed up. Some, the working poor. Others, on social assistance. I'm surprised at the number of single boxes that we're packing. Boxes for single people. Most of them, however, are families, many of which have been struggling over the last two years. There still are a lot of people who are looking for work, people who are unemployed and are having difficulty finding employment. Last year, the House of Friendship saw an 18% increase in families that need hampers, a number and a need that hasn't gone down. Each one of these boxes represents a family in need. In total, 3,600 hampers will be packed up and delivered in the next couple of days, a monumental task that the House of Friendship says wouldn't be possible without its volunteers. And what they need right now are more people, not packing but delivering the hampers. It's just unfortunate that there are so many people who are in need of food assistance at this time of the year. Now, some of that delivery starts tonight, but the big push will start this weekend. Anyone interested in volunteering can find out information on our website under the links and numbers tab. Kyle?